Shalom. Shalom. All right. We the brothers here from the Great Millstone, Atlanta. Um, back in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Before we get started, we want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rukakwadash. All right. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. We well. Peace, safety, much love to the elect members that's laboring around the four corners of the earth. Giving our diligence to make the calling of election short. Shout out to you, brothers, man. All right. Um, this live stream, man, you know, we just back in the spirit. Um, it's going to be entitled The How Shy, the um, the legacy, the greatest legacy known to mankind. Um, and this lesson, man, we just basically going to talk about the How Shy and the things that he did, you know, the measures that, that he, uh, the extreme measures that it took for his name to be what it is today you know for it to be magnified as such for his deeds for his works to be um looked at in the sight of men um as glorious man you know that took a level of faith a level of poise a level of um, wisdom knowledge and understanding a level of sincerity a level of humility a level of love passion you know might Whatever you can think of, man, you know, the Howard Shot exemplified those characteristics. Hence, 2018 AD, his legacy is still being spoken about around the world, man. You know, when you have people in Japan that know about, let's say, Jesus, because that's who they know him by. But they know, they don't know the name is, is what was attached to that name. Everybody know that he rose from the dead. Everybody know that he turned water into wine. And, he healed the sick, you know, he, uh, uh, he healed the blind, he raised people from the dead, you know. Everybody knows the actions of so-called Jesus, all right? But they just have the mind state that it's a so-called white man with streaky hair, all right? So the only thing left is, is to be revealed about Yahweh Shai really is his appearance, That's right. yep. you know, because the writings are there, you know. Everybody knows about who the world ignorantly calls Jesus and what he did. You know? If I so, add, yeah, you got it. It's like, uh, if I can add to that, also his nature, right? like, because, you know, the, the, the world paints this picture as if he's just some easygoing, loving, you know, Edomite, you know, but really, really, he's very serious and he's a man of war. You know, so that's also another another thing that that's going to uh, be revealed. To the masses, right? right. You got uh, okay. yeah. You can bring out that Ephesians, uh, yep. The Ephesians the first chapter, yep. Uh, Ephesians chapter one. I'm gonna uh, start at uh, 19. You know, down. It says, "And what is the exceeding greatness of His power to us who believe, mm -hmm. according to the working of His mighty power, which He wrought in Hamashiach." Right. When he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. That's right. So this what what he's speaking about here is speaking about the legacy of the Yahweh Shah. All right. How he was raised from the dead. How the power of the heavenly Father was uh was um was invested in his spirit, so to speak. You know, he was able to do spiritual things. You know, go ahead. It says. Uh, Verse 21, far above all principality and power, in might and dominion, in every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. That's right. See, even the world to come. All right. The Shah's name is still going to be glorified. And like we were just talking when the camera was off, Yahweh Shah's legacy ain't even done yet. All right. He still has to come with his power. A lot of these people don't even know that, that this is about to happen. If this part of the Yahweh Shah is about to take place, he's going to come back into the earth with all of his holy angels, which the Bible uh, describes them as, um, you know, identified flying objects. Would you people know it as spaceships or UFOs? He's going to come back with that. He's going to come back with a loud voice. He's going to come back with his own ship that's the uh, building in a mountain. He's going to be shooting uh, lasers and flames of fire out, you know. He's going to, you're going to be seeing a lot of uh, power, you know, that's going to further and further add to his legacy, man. Right. 
That's why us brothers here in the flesh, we got to hang on, we got to endure, we got to go through our ups and downs, our trials and tribulations, you know, our, our wins and our losses. You know, we got to go through it and we got to endure so that we can be strengthened and that the Lord can glorify us and magnify us with, along with Him. All right? Because He's building up our story, man. That's right. He's building up our portfolio, you know, to where, hey, man, you know, this brother right here. You know, he, he went through this, he went through that, he pursued this, he pursued that. He did all these things for my name. So therefore, I'm going to glorify and I'm going to magnify his name the same way that that, that, that my name is, man. Right. You know, that's what we're going. That's what we're going toward. That's why the Lord said rejoice in your sufferings, man. You know, we can continue on. Yeah. Um, I think there was in verse 21. For I all this power and power and might. In dominion in every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which to come. Uh -huh. uh, and have put all things under his feet. That's right. He said he put all things under his feet, man. You know, when he comes back, everything will be subjected to be subjection to Yahweh Shah, including the election. But we'll be in close subjection. Right. You know, we we don't necessarily uh, uh you know, he ain't gonna be trying none of the elect. You know, try they gonna be trying under his foot. They just gonna be close, uh, uh close uh, companions. Joint yeah, joint heirs to to the throne, man. Yeah, yeah Abishai is gonna provide each member of the elect their own throne, man. They own do domain of rulership, their own area of, of living, and, and quietness, and in peace, and in harmony, and in righteousness. You know, in love, in unity. You know, partying. You know, laughing, drinking, you know, handling business when it comes down to establishing the kingdom of heaven, so, setting these laws, statutes, and commandments on, going, uh, uh, going around the world, confiscating Edomites, putting them into slavery, destroying military vehicles, missile, missile silos, military camps, you know, breaking down the idols throughout the earth. This is all a part of being a joint, a joint heir of the kingdom. And when these things happen, you're going to have to have a serious mind, you know. The kingdom of heaven ain't, 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 ain't just going to be about all fun and games. Right? Right. It's going to be about establishing righteous order in the earth. Man. That's what's right. You know, go ahead. I, yeah. It says, uh, verse 22 of Genesis, that have put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, mm -hmm. which is his body, and, uh, excuse me, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. That's, that's right. You know, so the fullness of it is it, on the horizon, man. You know, the Howard Shah is going to make his grand appearance real soon. And that's why us brothers here, we here to, 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 to further push his legacy, man. You know, to tell the world that this man who you people, um, you know, uh, like love to hate, you put him to death, you scrutinize him, you say, is he, a, did he really exist? Right. Is, he, is he a myth? You know? This man that you people are always coming up against for the last for the last two thousand years, this is going to be the one that's going to have all of you goddamn on people and, and up under his rule, man. That's right. Yep. You know, you want to say something? Yeah, who, yeah. Who you people don't know, man? All right, because you don't know the true nature of your shy, man. All right, you don't, you don't, you don't read the scriptures, okay? All right, you know, all you know is is what you've been told and what was passed down and the the whole rhetoric. You know, with the miracles, and he rose on the third day, and blah blah blah. blah. But, but yeah. you know, uh, uh, you know, the, the true nature and, and the true spirit of Yahweh Shai is going to be revealed very soon. And I got a precept yeah. real quick. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, uh, Revelation uh, six, you know, like five, and I'll start at twelve, okay. saying with a loud voice. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing, which that Lamb is Yahweh Shai. Okay, so He's worthy to receive power, riches, wisdom, and, and that's because of His legacy, man. All right, He's He's the uh, the the example, all right, that the, that the Father had had set up to give us, man. You know, to live, to live by it, man. Drink. All right, because you know he kept the law. You know, he uh, embodied. Um, he embodied righteousness. 
All right, uh, verse 13. And every creature which is in heaven and on earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them heard I saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. And that's what's going to happen in the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, it's going to be continual worship of Yahweh Shai and the Father, man. Yeah. Because of, you know, all the all the things that they've done. You know? Yeah, you're going to hear, it's going to come a point in time before Yahweh Shai come back, and then you're going to hear all the elect around the four corners of the earth calling his name in time. That's right, yeah. Great, a great, a great voice calling his name at one time. Man. That's power, man. That's glory, man. You know, that's what you call glory. Yeah. When you got millions of people upon millions of people in different countries calling on your name for assistance at one time. Yeah. And you're and you can easily provide that assistance. That's glory, man. That's power. That's authority. That's a great man. Who can compare? Right. Who can stand next to that? You know, besides Yahweh the Most High, man. Who can yeah. stand beside what Yahweh Shah did, man? Hey, well, when right. you read up, when you read up uh, in verse 2, it says, uh, Who is worthy to open the book and loosen uh, and read it? Yeah, I'll read it from the top. Right. Of, uh, Revelation 5 and 2. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seal thereof? Yeah, who's worthy to do that? Who gave the who gave the inspiration to to our business? The spirit of Yahweh Bashan Al Shai. You know, that's who inspired him. And I'm gonna hit you with this. Next year it'll be 50 years that the truth been back in earth. Mm -hmm. Next year be in 2019, it'll be 50 years. Mm -hmm. But the truth, the truth sprang yeah. out in 1969. Yeah, right. You know, that'll yeah. be 50 years, man. You know? Mm -hmm. That 50 year period. You know that's that's known as what the year of jubilee mm. you know so hey like apostle Hart said man 2008 that in the 2018 beginning of 2019 we could very well be out of here that's right you no know? we just gotta yeah. hold on and don't dishonor your house shy's legacy either man that's right when you go through certain things hold your hold your ground man that's right hold your ground man don't wait you gotta remember not you ain't you're not only doing this for yourself, but you also gotta protect the Howard Shah's reputation. Right. You gotta protect his legs. And if you if you don't do the things symbolic of what he did or what he would do, you could be in jeopardy of being casted out, man. Because right. he's not gonna allow his jeopardy, I mean he's not gonna allow his legacy legacy to lock you, his legacy to be tarnished by what by, by nigga actions and nigga nigga um rhetoric, man. Right. You know. He's not going to allow his legacy that he labored for, he worked hard for, he died for, and he shed tears for. You know, he Yahweh Shah went through a lot, man. Right. You know, and he ain't going to allow just anybody to come in here and tarnish his legacy that that he fought so hard to achieve. That's why he'll cast you out. So when we put in these situations, we put it in, in, in these ups and downs and these uh this roller coaster ride. We got to remember Yahweh Shah. And, and right. you're going to get weak too. But when you get weak, that means you got to do what? You got to go to the house shop right. for your strength. So you won't, so you won't tarnish his reputation. Man. Yeah. So I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say, the to speak about it says uh, those that, those that stay stiffly for the name of the Lord. The scriptures also speak yeah. about gun. The scriptures also speak about uh, how you got men that uh, they, they put the Lord, put his name to shame, so to speak, in the Hebrews, you know? These men that uh, basically had, uh, took a hand off the plow, you know, went back in the world, man. You know, he put in the house shots to open shame, all right, because he died on the cross, all right, so we can have that that, uh, that second chance, so to speak, to, to, yeah. get, to get back to the uh, Heavenly Father, man. Yeah, that's that's the ultimate disrespect to, to yeah. turn it back on him. Yeah, yeah. It's a slap to the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. slap to the face, exactly. spit in the face, man, you know. That's why the Lord said he's going to get his judgment going to be at the house of Israel. Man. Which I supposed to, you know, which, which you know it's, it's already predestinated two thirds, you know, make up the middle of wisdom, and it's going to fall off. All right, but ultimately, what then? You put the Lord to open shame, man. He's going to judge you, man. So, you know, but brothers that remain and keep going, man, the Lord said he promised a crown to us, man. All 
right? Yeah, yeah, more. Right. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, this is the definition of legend. Yes, yes sir. Yeah. It says, uh, oh. Oh. I'm going to read every single one. Of them. Got it, got it. Hey, bro. And then I'm going to get to the etymology of it. Yeah, bring it, bring it. Bring it. Bring it up. Uh, this is the definition of legend. A traditional story, sometimes popularly, uh, popular, uh, regarded as historical or unauthenticated, an extremely famous or notorious person. They, they have to prove something too. Because they mentioned a story that was un, uh, un, if not verified, unprecedented. It's like, unprecedented. It's like yeah. a myth. Yeah. That's really, yeah. yeah. That's really to you, you people, man. Hey, because you know what you he know? did. What Yahweh Shah did is so amazing that you people try to equate it with a myth. That's right. Like that cannot be done in a human body. That's right. Yep. Hey, that's and so it, 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 you know, reminds me of uh, I think it's uh, right. Mark, Mark, Mark the second chapter yep. where they say. Um, how can how can you forget sins? Yeah, like that's just like so amazing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and the Pharisee said that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So who is he that he can forgive somebody's sins? sins? Yep. No. Nope. Yeah, I got this real quick. Go right with that. Like I said, mm-hmm. it's saying it's uh, a story that's not ver- verifiable. So un- 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 unauthenticated. Unauthenticated. Mm-hmm. Uh, can we? Uh, this is uh First Corinthians one and uh four. To uh, verse 6. It says, I think the most I always on your behalf for the grace of our power was given you by Yahweh Shah Mashiach, that in everything ye are enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Mashiach was confirmed in you. Yeah. <laughs> See? So, 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 with us, you know, uh, Lord Willow, we part of that number, man. All right, <laughs> his testimony yeah. is confirmed in us, man. Yeah, you hear what you people got to say. That's the moment that Romans do it. No, man, matter of fact, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Well, I, I'll get a precept back there. Because yeah. even when you go into the etymology of the word legend, it says, uh, it says to read. Yeah, so Yahweh yeah, is a legend, and do we not read about his works and what he did mm-hmm. and how he set his legacy? Go ahead, bro. Hey, oh, man. Man. It's good. It's good. It's good. I started uh, first John uh, record. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got yeah, something yeah. real quick. This is uh, second Ezra 13 47. Yeah. So he answered and said unto me, Is it the son of the most high whom they have confessed in the world? That's why it's, it's, it's important to do the work because you got to confess the legacy, you got to confess the works of Yahweh Shah, man. That's how you confess his name. You, you confess to how shy and hey, you know you behind the scenes talk you know trying to tell a bitch she is right right because you like it. you you just met her you trying to tell her yeah it's right the lord name how shy that's not confessing to the lord you got to confess the name to the world man. That's right. to, to everybody no matter who walk past it could be your grandmother man it could be your grandfather it could be a, your old girlfriend mm-hmm. it could be your boss you still got to confess that legacy man right not not behind the scenes. That's why you got. That's why the Lord said He sent us out. You know, I'm gonna continue. He says, "Whom they have confessed in the world, then began I to greatly commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord." And why we stand so stiffly? All right, because first and foremost, we gotta honor what Yahweh Shai did. All right, that's just like when you have a, a, a top Godfather and he created a, a, a legacy for for the, the mafia or that mob. If you come in later and you're trying to walk in footsteps, you get out of line, all right, you could possibly dishonor that man's legs yeah. and his whole thing that he started. And that will cause what? That will cause the other members of the other mafia or the mob to, to, to cash you out, man. Yeah. Because you're you going to tarnish, you gonna tarnish the whole operation, man. And you have a shy and about to let that happen. Like the brother watches, I was just speaking about um, what he said, uh, you put your house shot, you will put your house shot to an open shame. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I was going to say, uh, with, with any high-level organization, uh, you have a certain criteria or uh, or standard, okay? You know, and that's the same, how much more this truth and how much more, you know, the body of Yahweh Shai, okay? You know, he holds us to a standard and a criteria. Like the brother's saying, you can't be on no nigga shit, man. You can't dishonor, you know, you have uh, 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 that saying, you know, dishonor your family, man. Right. You know, you can't dishonor your family, man. 
you know? So a lot of you guys that, that, uh, that you know, you fell out of Great Millstone or, or whatever, you bugged out or whatever, you dishonored your family, man, because this was this was your family, man. That's right. You know? Yeah, if, if I can no, yeah, you yeah. point, because you part of a good point. Yeah, yeah, because if you, if you fall off, you're going against the brain, so you can't unborn the dots against the truth, right? Mm -hmm. So obviously, what does the scripture say? That you should desire the sincere milk. Yeah. And what's the milk scripture? First Corinthians in the eleventh chapter. Yeah. If you yeah. dishonor it, the head, yeah. which is Yahweh Shai, yeah. your, your head is Yahweh Shai. Yeah. You're dishonoring yeah. his, his legacy, yeah. what he what he established, what he uh, set for you to follow. You spitting on it. Yeah. You, yeah. you can be in jeopardy mm -hmm. of uh, receiving a, a hellified judgment. Yeah. You know, because they, they, you got to remember, man, this is a very, <laughs> this is the most powerful. And important man to ever walk the face of the earth, man. All right. Yep. This is the most powerful and important uh, man to spirit to ever come down and take form in human flesh. Man. And, right. and we we are the Lord set us up to protect His word. So that means we have a hell of a duty on our hands, man. That's right. We yeah. got to make sure that we handle it, handling it, and we operate it right. right. And I'm gonna hit you with this: it, it, this thing ain't even about. You know who know the, the most precepts, or uh, who's uh, been around the longest, or right. you know who can uh, come out poor, poor, uh, you know words. Out, out. It's about the belief, That's right? Uh, you know, it's about the belief. Do you believe that Yahweh Shai actually walked the earth, and are you willing to be chastised and and uh, and and, and uh, persecuted for his name? You know, because you can have you can have a man that that um you know. And to the brothers that do know no precepts and that's in the right spirit, and that's a that's the measure that was given to you. I'm not even gonna take away from that. You know, that's a gift, and you keep that gift, man. Keep it humble. But you could have a brother that may not necessarily be well learned, you know, but he willing to go through whatever persecution he gotta go through, you know, to, to, to get the job done. But yet still you have another man that, 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 that that's almighty knowing, and um he can't he can't take the persecution. So who's great? Exactly. Who's the greater person? You know, the man that actually believes in the legacy. Because the Lord can quicken that spirit and give him all the all the understanding. He's, there you go, brother. And the Lord said He's a quickening spirit. You know, so He can quicken that man. He just want to see who's down to ride. Man. You know how you know just in in, in, in the lower terms, the bigger terms. You know, you may have somebody that probably been around in the streets long, but they're scared. You know, but you might just have a young dude, he don't really know much about the street code, he don't know too much about nothing, he ain't got a lot of money, but he just down the ride, man. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And that the, the OGs will want him around. Just but but not not because you know he got a lot of money or he driving a fancy car, he know the game, he know the code and things like that. It's just because he got heart and he down the ride, man. That's right, yeah. You know, and that's what Yahweh Shah was looking for, man. Who was really down for me? You know? Yeah. And we, we gotta be the ones because his legacy is incomparable, man. You gotta go. Yeah. Now I just kind of quote that scripture that says um Psalms uh who will rise up with me. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you going with that, man. Yeah, who's who's willing to ride for how about Shimmy I was shot, man? You know, who's really gonna put their their money with their mouth is, so to speak. Uh, you know, you can quote scriptures, you know this, you know that you've been around for like 20 years, you know. But do you, do you really uh, ride? You really, you really ride with this thing, man. Ride or die. Yeah, you really gonna be a ride or die uh, soldier, man. You know, because you're coming into that time where your faith gonna be tested, man. You know, how I spoke about the ones that wasn't rooted. You know, uh, I wouldn't say it was uh, planning on a uh, stony, uh, you know, stony type of church. Yeah, stony church, stony ground, so yeah. to speak. You know, and they got plucked up, man. You know. So you gotta be, you gotta make sure you're rooted, you know, and you know what you are, you're involved with, man. You truly believe in this, this record. You want it to do this, this legacy, man. You know? Uh, yeah, that, that was, that was, I got, I got that was something. Uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. It says, Looking unto you, how was shot, the author and finisher of our faith. So he's basing the, the beginning and, and, and the finisher of the faith, right? In, 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 in the name of Yahweh, you know, because of Yahweh Shah, 
didn't do what he did. We wouldn't have nothing to have faith in. Right? You know, Yahweh Shai cast out Israel. You know, but by Yahweh Shai being that um, the one to step up to the plate and say, hey, I take the charge for all the crimes that the Israelites have committed. And what, what, what should I do in order yeah. to accomplish that? And the Lord gave him his cup to drink. Yep. And he drunk the cup. So in return, if now that that, that 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 faith has been restored to the nation of Israel, then we gotta honor that man. That's right. That's right. Because he was the one that stepped up to the plate and and, and, and carried the, the 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 larger portion of the burden on his back. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So in a sense, you know, the, the Howard Shad is, is, is he 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 is man. He's the, the top spirit to come down on earth. In the flesh, man. Under mm -hmm. under Yahweh, man. That's right. You know, because Yahweh is the supreme spirit, man. Right. He's the cream of the crop, the, the Alpha and the Omega, the Almighty. And his son Yahweh Shai is, is is number two. Yeah. And and for him to step up and take that that blow that that was dealt to him, we got to think upon that, man. We can't think about ourselves. Yeah. We can't think about uh what what's happening to me. What about me? How how what I'm going through. I'm low, I ain't got no gas, I can't make it to camp. You know, I ain't, I ain't got a, uh, you know, I ain't got this, I ain't got that. You can't think about that, man. Right. You know, you gotta think about your house shot, like how your house shot you do. You know, right. let, let me just catch a Uber to camp, you know, you know, if your brother can't pick me up, let me just catch a Uber. Yeah, man, I, yeah. Ain't, yeah, I ain't got no gas, man. We get, we get an Uber down to camp, you know? Take or, a mission. Yeah, or something, man, because, because you gotta remember, we supposed to be, Protecting uh reputation, man, of, of the man that restored our faith. If Yahweh Shah didn't do this, man, we wouldn't have no hope, man. That's right. No, we wouldn't have nothing to believe in. So we gotta honor it now that, that it's present. All right. right, I'm gonna finish it. Right. It says, um, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame. So Yahweh Shah looked at the shame that was coming his way and was like, I'm not worried about that. Man. I'm, I'm gonna shake that off, man. You know, I, now now he was in the flesh, so yeah, he, he felt a certain type of way at times, but he shook it off. Yeah, that was that's that was the, the that's what the Lord was trying to show us. Yeah. Like he manned up. Like it was it was a point in time that yeah, how Shaw was feeling the stripes, man. You know, because he was in the flesh. Yeah. You know, but the, but the point behind it was what he prayed. Then he go he prayed. He went to he went to the Father. Lord, Lord, I need you. you know? right. And the Father did what? He restored Yahweh Shah so that he could be permission. You know? And yeah. Yahweh Shah went out honoring me. And he brought him right back. Yeah. He brought him right back. You yeah. know? Like the Lord, the Lord is, man, his grace is, man, we, we man, really, man, what the Lord is doing for us, the name of Yahweh Shah, Shah, man, it's, it's beyond. What we can really fathom. Yeah. The mercy that he's having on us, man, it, I'm, I'm pleased and I'm honored. I know I can say this for all the brothers, man. We are very well honored, pleased to be able to worship and, and stand up for a power that's this merciful. That's right. Uh, you know, because right. you know, a lot of you Muslims, you over there getting destroyed. Man. Yeah. You know, but I'm going to continue reading about them. It says, despising the shame and it's set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. For consider him that endures such contradiction of sinners against him, lest he be weary and faint in your minds. So, hey man, you know, when, when, when you got certain opposition coming your way, scoffers, you know, uh, people want to, you know, warn your name, your reputation, want to call you a devil, want to call you this and want to call you that. Hey man, you got to look upon uh, the how shot and how he would have dealt with it. He, he shake it off. Shake it off and he continued the will of the Father. That's the most important thing. It's to continue the will. And really, when you think about it, it ain't even hard. Right. Cut the camera on, do a video. Right. Pray. You know, fast if you got to fast. Go around the island. You know, ask the Lord to cleanse your mind. Ask the Lord to clean, make your heart pure. You know, and don't don't meditate too much on what's happening to you. Just despise it, man. Be like, whatever, man. The Lord's going to keep me intact, man. You right. know? And you put and you stand for your house shot. That's right. what he's trying to tell us to do because it's all the text. Yep. Nope. Anybody had anything? I got something. Oh, I got something. Yeah. 
is uh, John 1 and 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of the Most High, even to them that believe on his name. Connie, hey, so, hey, you know, brothers were just saying, you know, it's about that belief, man. It's about that faith. All right? So, you know, the ones that believe on, the ones that believe in Yahweh Shai, all right, to him, he's going to give power, you know? Uh, verse 13, which were born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of the Most High. So you were born of the Spirit, man. Okay? You you were ordained from the beginning. Okay? But that, you know, that was pretty much the point I wanted to make. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a, this is Solomon chapter 3, verse 5. It says, and having been a little chastised, mm -hmm. they shall be greatly rewarded. Uh -huh. Yeah, little chastisement. The chastisement that we have to endure is, 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 is little compared to what Yahweh Shai had to go through yeah. in that time span. You know, because Yahweh Shai drunk in that cup, we're not going to have a whole hell of a lot more to drink of because he already drunk a larger portion of the cup. Right. So now we got to just drink, you know, keep passing that cup around so that we can just finish the rest of the cup off. Yeah, yeah, that's right. No, but he already took the largest swallow. You know, like, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, he got a, you know, he got a little, a little left for the elect. Like, all right, you drink this cup, yeah. you drink this portion, you drink yeah. this portion, you know, all the way to till it's till it's done. Yeah. And he gonna, he gonna, you know, the Lord gonna send him back. He gonna make us joint heirs because he like, hey, look, I suffer, y'all suffer right along with me, man. Right. you know. So I can't just, I, hey, the house shot is, is perfect, man. Yeah. He's even in the mind frame. I can't even take all the glory. I'm, I'm gonna give y'all glory with me, because because we drunk the same cup, so we yeah. gotta partake in that same glory. I just drunk. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a larger portion of the reward because I drunk a larger portion of the cup. But yet still, I'm, I'm gonna look y'all up, man, because we all drunk out the same cup. That's right. Hey, how was shy, man? Hey, call her law in love. Yeah, how was shy? Yeah, was shy by shy. Nope. You think about it on them terms, man. That's beautiful. You know, they go ahead. I got a thought came to my mind across the bar when we made a statement. Ain't no brother getting nails driven to their hand. You know, just backing up to the average you say, how was y'all took on the bulk of that or that, that, that suffering, man? You know, brothers, like you said, just, just reiterate, brothers just gotta take that, that last bit in that cup, man. You know, so, so, so God, so it don't make no sense why I do it with, with just beat. You know, get offended. You know, the scriptures all talk about a light of fishing. Yeah. You know, it goes right to the scriptures about the Pastor Paul, bro. You know, a light of fishing. You know, how shy he took on the majority of the hell, man, that suffering, man. Drop down near the whole body. Yeah, yeah. You just got a shot. You got a shot. I got something to go right along the lines. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. This is Romans 8 and 17. It says, and if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. If so, be that we suffer with them, that we may be also glorified together. That's right. Joint so, so heirs, man. You know, it's the kingdom that we, we, uh, we, we born into, Yahweh Shai's kingdom, man. So because we suffered with him, you know, we, we drunk the same cup that he drunk, so to speak. All right, we're going to receive that glory, this uh, uh, realm of heaven, man. That's right. You know, that, that you came to heaven, man. Crowns, thrones, you know, rulership, man, slaves, yeah. you know, go ahead. Come verse 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time God. are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, it's, it's speechless, man. God. You know, the amount of power and glory you want to see, man. This little, little bit of hell you can catch it, man. You know, flat tire, yeah. you know, whatever the fire, a little, little headache every now and then, yeah. get fired from the job, yeah. get, get sick, or you know, you know, your family, you know, talking shit about you and the truth, you know, that's right. right. Or, or you know, you, you got a brother that, you know, uh, one brother may be a brother one day and the next day he, he, he down on you, man. Right. You know, hey, these, yeah. these things that, that come with the turf, and you got to eat it. And you're going to feel a certain type of way when it happens. But it's about how you respond, man. How you yeah. react. How you bounce back, man. Go ahead, Kasha Paul. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't get this one later. But yeah, this, but this you got, you got the floor. Yeah. Hey, yeah. you read it, read it yeah. and break it down, bro. Uh, I'm going to finish. I'm going to 
I'm gonna finish uh, the wizard song. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I got two more scriptures. Fine, you read it. You got the four now. Yeah, you so, yeah. Wizard, wizard of Solomon three and five. It says, and having been a little, having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For the Most High proved them and found them worthy for Himself. Okay, and then uh, we got Sirach chapter sixteen. Uh, verse uh, 26, it says, The works of the Lord, the Allah are done in judgment from the beginning. Mm. <clears throat> and that's when, where the brother that you brought out the time, yeah. about the, you know, three deaths, you know, speaking on three yeah. And it says, And from the time he made them, he disposed the parts thereof. And y'all, you were just speaking, Yahweh Shai drank most of that cup. And then, you know, he poured the rest out for the 1144, 144,000 other cups. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Now, now we got it true. And yeah. when we look into that word exposed, it means to incline willingly or to, uh, or to uh, pretty much disseminate or disperse. Right, right. Okay? So he, it says dispose the parts thereof. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now I wanted to get this real quick. Great time. Great this time. is Mark 10. Verse 35, he said, and I'm gonna read down to about like verse 39. This is a uh, Mark 10 to 35. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, uh, come unto him and say, Master, we would, we would that thou shouldest do for us whatsoever we shall desire. And he said unto them, What would he, uh, what would he that I should do for you? They said unto him, Grant unto us that we may sit. One on the right hand and the other on the left hand in the glory. Yeah. Verse 38. Now this man, but now Shai said unto them, Ye know, ye know not what ye ask. Can ye drink the cup that I drink of? That I drink of? Ooh. And that goes in the way that the yeah. brother uh Martin's house said about how Apostle the like, right. can anyone drive nails to you? Right. Did you have to sit up on the cross? Right. Did you have to get beat? Did you go through Isaiah 53? You know what I'm saying? So uh, it says, and he's and this is the whole side of saying more. It says, and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with, because we understand the Holy Spirit came on like like a dove. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, came, yeah. He got 100% of that. And the scripture you know say what? It must wisdom, it must Greek So, so when the Holy Spirit got baptized with the Holy Spirit, as he did, you got to remember, you got to think about the amount of grief that was uh, playing in his mind on the head. Because right. you say what? Um, he was a man that was acquainted with grief. Right. Right. Was it Isaiah 53? Mm -hmm. He was acquainted with grief. So the amount, the, the level that he was on, imagine the amount of grief that he had to bear mentally, man. We have to bear, you know, a little grief here and there. You know, things get grievous here and there, but it ain't on that level because our knowledge, wisdom, and understanding ain't on that level. So some things, you know, some things that bother you now in the truth, it may not have necessarily bothered, bothered you when you first came in. Right. And why is that? Because you wasn't on the level yet. But then as you continue to grow, as you continue to, 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 to give your spirit and sharpen your spirit, sharpen your mind, something that, that occurred to you before, now you're really feeling it. You know, it's like, why am I feeling it like this when I already went through this? It's because your mind is growing, man. Your spirit is becoming more purified, you know? And you under, now you're starting to understand, like, now I'm really... I'm really being chastised because I didn't even deserve that. You know? That's right. and, 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 and because you keep growing, you're growing, man. So you you become you become uh, uh as you grow, you know, you uh you start to feel them the stripes, man. Yeah. You know? But that's yeah. all I wanted to say, y'all. Right. That's right. right. And then this is the last one, I'll I'll give you back to my brother. Verse 39, it says, they said unto him, we came. And the hour side said unto him. You shall indeed drink of, of the cup that I drink of, and with the baptism that I am baptized, baptized with, with all, shall you be baptized. Okay? So right. it's like, we each got to be. I was trying to say, no. Nah. He's like, you can't. He's like, no, nah, you will. Right, yeah. You know, yeah. if you put your foot on and your hand on the plow and put both feet in, you will yeah. drink of a portion that was disposed to you. Like it says in Sirach 16, that was disposed to you from the foundations of when the earth began, man. You will drink of a cup, man. Right. You know? That's right. 
not get out of the high school. Uh, kind of go back to our first point of the day about the house science. Basically, the legacy of the Lebanon, right? This is um, well, the Colossians 1, and uh, I'm gonna start at 12. I'm, I'm gonna just read through because we just jump in. You know, uh, uh, it says, uh, Colossians 1 and 12, giving thanks unto the Father which have made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light yeah because i'm gonna hit you with this what we're going through is the only way that we can inherit the kingdom of heaven this is a part of the inheritance the beatings yeah. the stripes man the cup that's the only way you can inherit it man you know it's basically like hey man before you come in the building you gotta take the shot yeah yeah, 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 yeah. you know you can't come in if you don't take the shot bro. right right you know you gotta, you gotta basically, you gotta drink this in order to come in, man. Well, it's like, uh, just, I hate to use the example, but you know, you got uh, gangs, you gotta get jumped in. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you gotta get, you gotta get initiated, man. You got, um, what they call them, initiation fees. Yeah. Well, that's the same thing that come with this because yeah. the cup that he drank was so, was so, um, it was, it was such a heavy cup to where your house shot just can't let any and everybody in, man. Right. Like you got to be proven worthy to come and partake of this, man. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a members only type of thing. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. Okay. Uh, it says verse 13 uh, Who have delivered from us the power of darkness and have uh, translated us into the kingdom of his dear son? Yep. Yeah. It says, In whom we have redemption through his blood, even yeah. the forgiveness of sins. Yeah, see, we. We, be, we were redeemed through your house shot's blood. Hold, hold that right there. Give me Acts 20 and 28 real quick. But it's going to show you that. That the only way that, that, that even the elect was able to be drawn back to your house shot was by sprinkling of blood. You know, that's the, that's the, that's the price that he had to pay. Yep. And now the price we have to pay is what? You know, we have to suffer similar stripes as him. Ultimately, right. you know, the elect, the majority of the elect not going to have to suffer that main strike, which is death. Majority of brothers not gonna have to drink with a cup of death because he swallowed that. But you will have certain brothers that that, that will be martyrs. You know? Now the de now the degree or who the Lord finds worthy is, is all up according to him. Because the Lord has certain spirits that can even go through that uh through that portion of uh, the cup. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a heavy yeah, that's a heavy, that's a very heavy portion, but the Lord got the, the heavy the heavy spirits um set up. Uh, to whom he, whom he uh, predestined to drink of that thing. You know? Go ahead, Al. Come, come. Uh, this is Acts 20, verse 28, correct? Yeah. This is Acts 20, verse 28. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves and to all the flock uh -huh. <clears throat> over the which the Holy Spirit hath made you overseers uh -huh. Go ahead. to feed the church of the house. Uh -huh. What she had purchased with his own blood. There you go. So mm -hmm. the, the, the flock was purchased with the blood of Yahweh by Shema Shai. See, before Yahweh Shai, before Yahweh Shai sprinkled his blood, the, the, the elect was susceptible to sin. They were owned by sin at that point. But they had no sacrifice. You know, the sacrifices was, wasn't helping the children of Israel. They were getting worse. So they, they were given over to sin. So how did Yahweh Shah redeem them or, or redeem them from sin? By first and foremost being sent by the Heavenly Father, being a pure, righteous lamb in the flesh, then delivering himself up for the sacrifice to buy them back. So now that, that the Lord has purchased back the elect, even though the elect may partake in sin, we we'll tell you in Romans the eighth chapter. There's no condemnation to them that uh, love the house shop. Right. Why? Because their sins already got a blanket on them. Yep. See? This right. is the importance of protecting the legacy. Yep, that's right. Because you got a blanket on them. Because right. he already purchased it, he already bought it back. So, therefore, going forward, you know, you just got to honor the, the words. You got to honor his legacy. You got to honor his commandments. Right. And, and then after that, he got the rest. When it comes down to fighting your enemy, bringing judgment on whoever needs to be, judgment needs to be brought on. When it comes down to 
save in close relatives like your children or your friends or your mother or your cousin or anything like that that's near and dearer to you that never came up to the truth. He got all of that. All he wants you to do is, is, is protect my legacy and, and let and declare my name to the world. You know, go ahead, my brother. Yep. I read uh, 14 again right there. It says, um, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Yeah. See? Even the forgiveness of sins. Because it all came through what? Through blood. Yeah. The shedding of Yahweh Shah's blood. That the the Yahweh Shah's blood shed was so powerful that when he actually gave up the ghost, an earthquake happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. The earth responded to that death. Man. That's how powerful that was. That action, that sacrifice was so powerful that the earth shook. Man. Right. That the dead rose, man. The temple, the veil of the temple uh, uh, rent was split, man. Yep. That's how powerful that was, man. That's right, God. That was a heavy purchase, man. That was like somebody you know coming in the store and slamming a 20 on the on the on the counter like boom. Yeah, you know? Impact. The impact, man. Right. Like that's mine, that's my shit, that's mine, man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know, I want that. You know, yeah, how should I purchase that with really blood, man? Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. Uh, verse 15, who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature. Yeah, say who is the image of the invisible power. That's why Yahweh Shah said, he who has seen me has seen the Father. You know? Right. So he was the image of, of the Most High. You know, he came down in, in the image of the Lord. Because why? Because he walked righteous. And the Heavenly Father is righteous. Right. You know? So he was, a, he was the greatest spirit to in the flesh, yeah. I'm gonna hit you with this. Allegedly. Yeah, uh, yeah, allegedly. I'm gonna hit you with this. King Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai was more righteous than King Solomon. God, God, yeah. And he is King Solomon. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. In fact, I got some food, bro. Yeah. You know. I got some food. You want to finish that? Then? Uh, he get a real quick. Okay, okay, yeah. okay God, God. Uh, Let's see more verses. Okay. Because yeah. that that's right. This is uh. This is uh, First King. It's a lot. This is First King, uh, yeah, chapter three. It says, uh, "All right." It says, uh, First King, chapter three, verse twelve. Uh, behold, because this is that this goes into um, when King Solomon had that dream. And he, he didn't ask for anything else yeah. but, you know, right. wisdom and discernment right. to judge Israel correctly. So this this is First King chapter 3, verse 12. Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I, I have given thee a wise and understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither Ooh. after thee shall any arise like unto thee. That's and right. That's exactly what you said. That's right. So Yahweh Shah, man, hey, to, to be able to, 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 to go and stand on the highways and byways and declare his name, first and foremost, for him to wake you up to be an Israelite, right. all right, for him to reveal his name unto you, and then he puts you up under the right shepherds, the true shepherds, you know. Now, after he's done all this, now he's revealing all kind of mysteries unto us, man. Like, we got to pray and ask the Lord to please don't not take that away from us. And in return, he said, okay, I won't take it away, but you got to fight. Right. You got to fight, bro. You got you to gotta suffer. You got to go through your highs and your lows. You may have to get evicted. But don't worry, because I'm going to put you in something. Yep. But right. I just want to see what you're going to do in the midst of all this. Yep. You know, you may you may, um, you may, know, run into a, 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 a situation where you may encounter a near-death situation. I'm going to get you out of the situation, but I just want to see if you was just going to pray to me. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because this is the greatest being, you know, as far as, you know, that came in, in, in the earth. I, I, under Yahweh, I'm going to say under Yahweh, because I can't I can't diminish the power of the Most High. Right, right. Because the Most High is everything. He's in everything. He's the, the he's time. He's everything. His spirit is in everything. You know, he's omnipotent. Like he tells you that in Revelation 19, 19 chapter, it speaks about him being omnipotent. Man. You know? Meaning what? Uh, uh, all powerful, you know. And you got uh, omnipresent, which means uh, at all places at one time, you know. 
So Yahweh Yahaw- is is pretty much the top spirit. But Yahweh Shai is the greatest man to walk the face of the earth. Right? You know, with, 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 with flesh and blood and bones, man, that came into the earth by the womb of a woman. He's the most powerful person to crack the womb of a woman. Period, point blank. I dare anybody to argue against that. It's irrefutable, man. It's irrefutable evidence, man. And we have the opportunity to represent or to, 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 to protect this name of this particular man. Be ambassadors for this for this great person. But we gotta take we gotta take it uh, uh, cheerfully, man. We gotta take it cheerfully, and we gotta we gotta understand that this thing ain't about us, man. Right. When you when you make this truth about you, you start to diminish Yahweh Shai, man. And Yahweh Shai ain't gonna let nobody do that, man, because he worked too hard for him not to be recognized. You know? Period. Point blank. If you go into a, a well established um, business where an owner went through the highs and the lows and made sacrifices to get that business off the ground, and when that company gets running, they gonna have pictures of, of that owner. Owner's model. They gonna have a picture. This is such and such. Born in such and such date. He came up with the idea back in 1912. Started and started here and grew and it did this and that. They gonna show reverence to that owner. And if you have somebody in there that comes and try to diminish the sacrifices that the owner made in that company, you got to go. That's right. Because now you're trying to make this company about about you when you ain't do nothing to get it here. You know. That's that's the type of mind frame we gotta have. Humble servants, man. Drink. Humble servants. Keep your head down. Stay out of trouble. Do the work. Be brotherly. Honor your how about some old shy. Stay in prayers, man. Most importantly, just stay out of trouble, man. Right. You look for trouble, it's gonna find you. You know, stay out of trouble. Don't go looking for it. You know, all the, all the you know the back and forth and you know poking at Satan. You know, right, right. Don't do it. Think, you know, mingling with the world, thinking you got it. You look for Satan, and it's gonna find you. Yeah. Right. Keep a low, keep a low, a low profile, low cover. Push your house shy and honor his legacy. Man. Right. You no. Know? Yeah, yeah. Many times when it says back to you know, say that a wise man foresee the evil of yeah. himself. Man. Exactly. Yeah. You no. Know? Be responsible. The house shy is not seeing you as a sheep amongst wolves. Man. That's right. You know, so you gotta keep a particular profile you're moving out here in this world. That's right. You know, right? You'll be eaten alive and, and, and judged. Man. You know, you gotta be in a, in a real, a real, uh, you know, simplistic type of spirit. You don't have to have too many devices. Yeah. You know, hey, well, it tells you, it tells you that. You, you know, I think was that um, the book of James, where it speaks about godliness with contentment. No, that's Timothy. Matter of fact, get that uh what that first Timothy six chapter. Right. It should be first Timothy chapter six. You know where it's at? Uh you'll see it up in there. It's right before verse uh 12 or 10. Six verses up. The godliness with contentment is great game. You should see it in there. And that's basically going into um, do you see it? You know what's I Somebody can say it, search on you got it. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I got it. Okay, yeah, so you say you got it. This is uh first Timothy chapter six. Um uh, I'll start at five. Yeah. Perverse disputings of men of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, uh-huh. supposing that gain is that gain is godliness. Yeah, so just because you got a lot, you know, they, they think that the most high is money. Like you got IUIC, yeah. You got uh G you got IUIC, you got G O C C, you know, you got uh um, you know I S U P K, you got the H O D C guys there that can travel here and there. Yeah. You know, you got a lot of these people that, that they got a lot, they got they brought their phylacteries, you know, like it tells you they brought their phylacteries and you know. They got the garments with the head wraps and, and they got the nice cars and nice facilities with Passover. So they're thinking that 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 that's that the most high is winning. Yeah. Supposing that 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 um that is God. Go ahead. Yeah, that's right. Um for such withdrawal, for 
from such withdrawal of uh, thyself. So you people that's in these organizations, you clearly don't understand the spirit. Because he just he telling you right there from such of these type of people, withdraw yourself. Hey, I'm gonna hit one of the brothers in the camp, I ain't gonna put him out there, but he was rebuking IUIC the other night, man. He ran into him at their Passover. And he started start telling them what? Y'all better get away from Nate. Y'all better get away from Nate. The spirit jumped on that brother, man. Right. And that links up with that scripture. Go ahead, uh. Right. Verse six is important. But godliness with contentment is a great game. Like what the what the brother Arachis I was just saying, man. You know, don't don't be don't be looking to to, to, to be all up into everything, man. You know, yeah. you got balancing, you know, four or five women at one time. You know, you are always on the paper chase. You always in the streets, at this club, at, at this uh, uh, house party. You know, you always going out of town. You always here. You always there, but you can't never find no time for the truth. You ain't you ain't you ain't content, man. That's right. You ain't right. content. You you you. Constantly climbing the ladder, but where you climbing to? Where you trying to go? That's right. You know, right. you in hell, man. If I can say it, the scriptures say that Jacob was a plain man dwelling yeah. in tents. Yeah. You know? yep. But you know, if you go into that word plain, he's well rounded, but still, he should be well rounded yeah. in his truth. So right. the history, the geography, and the prophecies, you know, in your prayers, in the Hebrew, in the language. But how are you going to be a uh, plain man uh, in his truth? If you are dipping that one into the world, right? right. Yep. Just like, that don't pretend that yeah. no, <laughs> yeah, well, what did the scripture say? Uh Sirach, I think it's Sirach 11. Yeah. It's seven, I think it says striving not a that matters that's so you not. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's that. But you know, you know right. yeah. Yeah. That, that was just to add to the brother uh Rock's last point, dealing with um you know, abstaining from all evil appearances and, and just being, you know, uh, in in a, in a spiritual bubble, so to speak. Right? Now you can have, you can do do what you do. Go here if you want to go out to eat. You know, you want to, you know, right, right. go certain places or go, you know, have a drink or go somewhere with a chick. Like we ain't saying that, but if that's your repertoire, that's what you just into, and you don't put no type of energy, no type of uh, spirit into your hour shot, then you. you Going contrary to the scriptures, man. Right. You know? But uh, you got it out. Yeah. Uh, can, can I get any more questions? No, no, you got it. Come on. No. All right. Uh, I think that's Colossians. All right. Colossians 1 and um, sorry, like 15. It says, Who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature? For by, uh, for by him were all things created that are in heaven. And that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him before him. And I'm sorry with this. When, when it was revealed to Yahweh Shah that he was the son of man, Yahweh Shah knew that he had a standard to live up to. Right? He didn't just take that as like, hey, I'm, I'm the son of man, I can do whatever the hell I want to do. Like some like Richie Rich. Or like a little spoiled ass little kid whose dad got money and they live in a mansion and they just freaking off and oh they doing all this you know just because the simple fact that my father is rich and I'm his son you know and I have an inheritance of how even though your house shot knew what was promised to him you know he knew that he was the son of the most high he he had spiritual powers you know he was still content right. this is your house shot this is how shot here talking speaking about it. Well, he had the power to call down these I was just about to say this is how shot, but you got this, you got you got uh, I, 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 I got some yeah, man, go ahead. Go ahead. No, but go ahead. Yeah. No, no, go ahead. Now, I was gonna say you got a certain jinx. You know, they, they learn a couple of precepts. They think they uh King David, man. You ain't got no power to call down, you know? They think yeah, you're right, we got that power, man. All of a sudden, you know, been a truth for two years, and now you're over the apostles, you know. So, oh, no, the, 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 the breakdowns we, we got from the elders, they all wrong now, now, now we got to stop and remix everything. Yeah. You know how you got Like shot ITR, man. What you yeah. guys are doing is called the burden of proof. Right. I'm going to do a lesson on that. That's right. Well, that's right, man. Yeah. You know, you basically, you guys like that, man, you know, full as versions. You know, you're yeah. outside, 
you spoke to you guys, man. You're going to be dealt with, man. You know? Uh, I go back to this. This is uh, uh, Colossians 1 and uh, 17. It says, And he is before all things, and by him all things can cons consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who was the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, and in all things he might have the preeminence. That's right. The outside is going to have preeminence and domination over everything that walks upon the face of the earth. He's going to be put back in the position of Adam. You know? He's going to be put back in the position to have dominion over all creature things, all files of the air, all the fish in the sea, all of, all of mankind, and beasts. That was the same position that Adam had. But the first time he did it, what happened? You know, he gave he gave heed to the, to the serpent. Sure. Now the earth is, is what it is today, but he cleaned it up. So he came back with the hell was shot. Now the Lord is going to give him us another chance to do it again. Right. But this time it's going to be established in what? In righteousness. Mm -hmm. He's going to actually have joint heirs with him this time to make sure that things flow and go, go the right way. Because right. see, the mission that we're on right now is we, we, we have to defeat the serpent. Because the serpent that was back in the garden... His spirit is everywhere, man. His spirit is, it, it, it took hold of every goddamn guy. Man. So now we here in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, we have to combat the same spirit of the serpent that, that, that started on us. That's right, yeah. That's right. Now we're going up against that force right now because he didn't spread, man. Yeah. He didn't spread all over the world, man. So now the Lord set up what? The, the, the members of the, the elect. To go around the earth defeating that serpent, not not giving heed to the to the what? To the gestures, man. Yeah. You know? Hey, you just go on eat that boy, man. Go on now. We all we ain't all day. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Hey, hit, hit, that, hit that girl over there, man. She got big booty now. She got a man, but don't worry about that. He in prison. Yeah. He he ain't he, he, he don't ever be around he make shit. She about to leave him next week anyway. Go ahead and hit that. You know, we like, nah, man. Right. Nah, we ain't listening to that. Yeah. We don't want to hear that. Right. You know? Because we doing what? Because we coming up in the spirit of Yahweh Shai now. Right. So he could take back control of the earth as, 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 he, as he was when he was at it. Right. You know? That's right. I got something to push on that. Uh, really, it's, it's a lot more we can go ahead. Yeah, because we want to hit this. We want to hit this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Lamar. Uh, Mark 1 and 26. And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried out with a loud voice, he came out of him. And they were all amazed and so much that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority <laughs> commanded he, even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him. See, hey, look. I'm going to let you say what you were going to say, but hey, y'all was shy, was so powerful, and people like, what? What, what, what is this? Who is this? You know how people walk past, them, like, what is this? What is this? Yeah, yeah. Y'all was shy, was doing what he was doing. People like, what new doctrine is this? Man, this guy got evil spirits listening to him, too, man. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's power, bro. Yeah. Yeah. If I can say, too, in that same, in that same scripture, it says, it tore out of him. When you look into that word, torn, torn it's convulsed. Mm -hmm. And when it's, when that, Convulse is like a, a seizure. He was like, right, what right. the spirit was coming. That's how yeah. powerful the Irish shy was. He yeah, was making right. the spirits round up inside of him. He was just doing yeah. all of that. And, then, and that's when the people saw that. They were like, whoa. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Like, like, what, what's, what's up? Like, what's, what's, going on? what's going on? You know, and that, that goes to show you that, you know, an exorcism or getting spirits off you, man, it takes time, man. Because yeah. your spirits be really latched into your, into your, 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 your vessel. And only Yahweh Shah has the authority to purge, but he's taking us through what? He's taking us through a, a moderate purge, a process. Right. A process. Yeah. Like he ain't he ain't straight up and down, just you know yeah. what I'm saying? He's like, all right, I'm saying, do this, you gotta get through spirits out of you. Don't worry about it. You're gonna be all right. Just go through this. That's that front of that. That's that burn. You start feeling a certain type of way, your head may start hurting, your feet may start sweating or something, you know. You may, you know, be feeling, you know, feeling a certain type of way, but that spirit is leaving you, man. That room, that room is six, man. Yeah, that spirit is actually leaving your, leaving your body because why? 
because now you submerged in the word to where you already been getting that spirit off. Yeah. It's like you know? like detox. Yeah. You know? But to these people, man, that's why a lot of these people just gonna have to go out and hellfire. But when I say hellfire, I'm talking about the nuclear missiles. You know, it's right. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Just one more verse. And immediately his fame spread abroad throughout all the regions round about Galilee. And like that brother brought out earlier, uh, he brought out the word legend, all right, which one of the synonyms for legend is fame. You know? Mm -hmm. All right, so it says immediately his fame uh, spread, abroad, spread abroad throughout all the region round about Galilee. Yahweh is a legend, man. You know, he, he's, uh, you know, his, his legacy, man. He carried, he carried on a legacy that, that people were astonished at, you know? Right. Another definition for legend is very well known. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, for me, what Yahweh Shai is doing, they're saying we're going to do greater words, so that's, that's coming to us. Yeah. That word, that word of God. Yeah, he's going to make them yeah, yeah. legendary, yeah. man. <laughs> like, like, Mike, who is Scotty Pippen without Michael Jordan? Yeah. Scotty Pippen ain't getting no rings by itself. Nah. Yeah. Scotty Pippen ain't getting no rings by itself. He, he right. got made legendary because Michael Jordan made him legendary. That's right. Yeah. You know, by helping him. You know? Right. And, and a lot of other people, man. A lot of other, a lot, it's a lot of people that's legends because they were around another person. Mm -hmm. when, that, when that other person leave, that other person goes to the shit. That's right. You know? Right. So mm -hmm. yeah, I was shot gonna do the same thing. He gonna make, he gonna make our names legendary. He gonna leave us. Lord willing, should I say? I say, oh, oh, Lord willing that we be a part of the elect. So like, yeah, I was shy will, will make our name legendary and we continue to strive, fight these spirits, and stand up for righteousness' sake. You know, he's going to do the same thing. Right. Well, people, hey, don't, don't you say, um, I would be, what's that, Malachi or Zachariah say, I would be the pain in the land uh, where you were afflicted, where he said, you were not my people. I would get you fame in that same land. Yeah, how would Shah want to do that? Like, you know how when, when somebody might blow up, mm -hmm. let's say a rapper blow up, right? The first thing they say, now I'm going to put my team on. Yeah, uh -huh. you know? Yeah, 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 yep. I'm gonna that's it, Howard how Shah is. Yeah. That's how would Shah spirit. Yeah. yeah. I got to put my, I got to put my team on. Hey. Yeah. Hey, that's the ultimate Jake, man. Yeah. 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 That's how Jake is. That's how Jake is. That's Jake. That's Jake. Yeah, because Yahweh Shah. Yeah, he, he, he not, nah, nah, so, I was going to say, he, he could have. He could have inherited the kingdom by himself, but he wants to he wants to do it with his bros, man. Exactly. You know? And that's the beauty of it. But uh, you know, that was dope. Right that was dope. Okay. Uh back in uh back in uh, Colossians one and uh, uh nineteen. It says, For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. And having made peace through the blood of his cross by him to, re to reconcile all things unto himself. By him I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. And you were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works. Yes. Yet now hath he reconciled. Yeah. Meaning what? He, he got the spirit off again. Yeah. Yeah. But you were at one point in time you were, we were alienated from the Howard Shai, from the law, statutes, and commandments, and from the history, you know, from the, the spirit of the Howard Shai. We were alienated by the and, and by by just us being alienated at that point, that made us an enemy, man. Yep, that's right. Because of because of what? Because our works that we did in ignorance. Yep, that's right. That's yeah. what made us enemies. Yep. You know, because we did these works in ignorance. So what did the Lord do like? Man, that's just like like I say, when somebody when you got a rapper that come up and he leave the hood, you know, then he go back and he see his, his homeboy still in the hood. He like, oh, y'all ain't gotta be in the hood no more. Like, come with me. Like, let's go on tour. We gonna live in the baddest hotels. We gonna drive the baddest cars. Like, we get some, you know, get us some nights. We ain't gotta stay in the hood no more. But then you know you got some niggas they like man I gotta go off in the streets man yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't never leave the block I leave the niggas that gotta go back into the world yeah right? yeah you know that's true bro you know cause, cause uh, you know it's hard to adapt to a new style of life you know it's hard it's hard to adapt to a, to a new a new style of life and, and maintain it that's why when you first come to truth you what you sell it you on fire you know you 
everything is, is true, 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 true. You know, ain't nothing standing in your way. But then after 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 um after a while, you start losing your steam. Like, man, I don't know what they're doing in the world. <laughs> you know, I wonder what they got going on yeah. back in the world. I want to, you know, poke my head in there and see what what what's really going, what's really good back out here. You know, what's the same thing? I gotta go back to the hood, man. I gotta go visit the hood, man. I gotta, you know, like Rollo. Yeah, you gotta don't know who Rollo is, a, a, a popular local rapper down here in Atlanta. He got millions of dollars, but he's still living in the hood in, in the apartment somewhere. And he, he just, they, they just got it raided. They just got raided because he don't wanna get his simple ass out of the hood. You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, read the last part again. It says, Yet now have he reconciled in the body of his flesh with death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in the sight. Man, oh man. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. So that means what? He has to purge us. He has to cleanse us by washing us with his word. Right. Well, I can tell you that. What's that? Psalms 119? Yeah. It said, how, how then shall a young man cleanse his way by, by, by taking heed of uh, uh, you know, taking heed unto the word, and it tells you that in Ephesians you know, about the washing of the word. You know, so that's how the Lord is purifying us. He's making our vessel holy, more acceptable, more clean, and more pure, so that we can appear before you have a shot as a clean and pure sacrifice. You know, and not a defiled spirit that still got two thousand and two demons on it. You know. You gotta come get get to a point. You're supposed to get the experience of all. You know? <laughs> and you got it, bro. First, first Peter is one and seven. And the trial of your faith becoming much more precious than of the gold that perishes. Mm -hmm. There will be trial of fire. Yes, yeah, here's one of my favorite scriptures. Yeah. What's that? First Peter one and seven? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read that again from the top of the shot. Yep. First Peter is one and seven. That the trial of your faith. Being much more precious uh -huh. than of gold that perishes. Yeah, that's right. So your faith is even more precious than that than Almighty God, man. Right. Your faith is more precious than, than uh, gold and bars. Man. Go ahead. It says, though it be tried with fire, Ooh, though it be tried with fire, that's what? That's your trials and your tribulations, your, your daily afflictions. You know? When you hey, you got some brothers, man, they, they may wake up every day with a headache every day. Nothing they can do about it. You got some brothers that deal with, with maybe sharp back pains that run through their back, but they don't say anything about it. Some brothers dealing with knee pain. Some brothers dealing with uh, hemorrhoids or digestive problems. You know, sharp pains may run through their stomach, sharp pains in their head, eyes may be going out. You know, knees hurting, feet getting weak, or whatever the case may be. You know, some brothers is going through that. You know? But they trial that that hurt, they still going through that trial, man. You know? Go ahead. Huh? It says, uh, though it be trial with fire, might be found into praise and honor and glory at the appearing of the house shot. That's right. And that's and that's what we hope and pray for that man, that the Lord can purify us to where we can we can stand before your house shot and um and, and receive a crown, man. Because right. he looks upon us as a as a pure uh sacrifice man so right. i'm gonna get some real quick uh revelation chapter 19 and 8 it says and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen clean and white for the mm -hmm. fine linen is the righteousness of the saints that's right and if we want to stand before the lamb we have to have on clean linen it can't be spotted no no we got to be clean so that means what you know, we got to be purged Yep. Now, the, the, the trials and the tribulation that's going to come upon us, Jake going to be faced with the same thing, man. Esau ain't just rolling on Israelites. He's rolling on the world. Yep. Yep. KKK going to go through it. Christians going to go through it. Black Panthers going to go through it. Black Lives Matter is going to get uh, uh, tested. Israelites going to get tested. But the difference is it's going to be to their damnation because they have no cloak. That's right. That's right. They have no they have no no representative for Black Lives Matter that can speak on their behalf or do a miracle to get them out of the situation. Right. Mm -hmm. But the difference is with us is we don't go through these similar similar situations, but the difference is we have we what the Lord willing to have a cloak 
why it stands to what the Lord will find us worthy to get out of this situation. That's why it says, before the brother just read first Peter, that we, we can appear before the Lord without spot yeah. and home. All right, so I'm gonna read it again, and then I'm gonna let the brother Pastor Quality do his precept. Um, Revelation 19 and 8. And, uh, and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. And he said unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of the Most High. You know, and hopefully, man, you know, we can be joined unto the Howard Shah. And right. when the marriage comes, man, hopefully we'll be a part of that marriage, man. We'll be those righteous men that were bid into the marriage and we went, we set up the wedding, you know, we furnished the table, you know, we made sure that we were dressed properly, you know, we got, you know, took a shower, got the uncleanness off of us, you know, we prayed, we did everything that we had to do so that when the guests come in and he wants to marry his bride, which the bride is Israel, the elect, right. you know, when he comes back, when the groom comes back to take his bride, We'll be worthy to partake in that marriage. Man. That's right. You know, that's what we desire. That's what we hope for. That's why we do the things that we do. You know, that's, that's, why, that's why we can bear all things for the election. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, it, yeah, yeah, I'll bring this out real quick. Huh? This is, uh, because you're in Hebrew 12. Yep. This is Hebrew 12, verse 7. If ye endure chastising, uh, most high dealeth with, uh, with you as with sons. Yeah, right. Mm, right. For of what son is he whom the father chastises not? And this this whole lesson referring referring back to the legacy and the, and the legend that how it shot him, and it was he not chastised chastised yeah. from the house? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I would skip down to verse um, eleven. It says, "Now, now, no chastising for the present." Seemed to be joy, uh, joyous. Yeah, like, like when you start, when the first time you start going through stuff, you know, when it first, when it's, when it's, uh, you know, when it's current, you know, you feel, you feel a certain type of way. You in the flesh, and then you know, you dealing with things on on the on the on more of a baby level because, man, majority of the brothers that's in the truth right now ain't ain't adults, man. Right, you know. There ain't a lot of adults. I'm talking about spiritual adults in the truth. So when we go through these things, you know, we 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 going through these things in the in the spirit or the mind frame of a child. And when a child gets chastised, what does he do? He cries. cries. Sometimes he cries, sometimes he, he takes it, but he's still feeling, you know, all the way up until when? As as he gets older, he gets chastised less. Why he get chastised less? Because he already got the, he's been he's been uh, molded, you know, to a presentable point. So when he go into adulthood, he don't have to whoop you for stick. The Lord ain't got to whoop you for stick in the fork in the, in the socket. Right. You already know not to do it. Right. You see, so as you get older, you get chastised less, and you come to become more wise. But when you a child, you stay going through stuff. You stay going through things, man. You know. Right. Stay getting, getting God on and saying you gotta do this, you gotta do that. But the Lord looking out for you, you know. I got a super little quick. So we got that conclusion said, huh? All right, this is Sirach chapter 17, verse 24. Yeah. It says, But unto them that repent. And when you repent, that means you need to learn from the mistake. Yeah, you right, turn right. back from the right, truth. Yeah. He granted them return and comforted, comforted uh those that fell in patience. Verse 25, return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins, make thy prayer before his face, and offend less. That's right. right. See, offend less. Right. Offend less, man. You know, because then that, that's when the Lord started bringing you up. He started bringing you up on the level. He started to reveal certain things to you. He started giving you the inspiration, you know, to do certain things that, that's going to uh, lead to your salvation. Because as you're being chastised, he's, he's trusting you more and more. Because he's looking at your bounce back. Right. He's looking at your, you know, he's like, man, this dude got a strong bounce back, man. He, he can bounce back, you know? Yeah, yeah. So when you bounce back like that, he's like, okay, he's strong. I can I can keep building him. I can, I can, I'm trusting him more now. I can trust him more. 
No, you got some of us now? Uh, yeah. If not, we're going to go ahead and close it up here in a minute. But, uh, yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll kind of, you. <laughs> okay, now go ahead. I'm just going to finish this off. I, I'll close up. Yeah, I'll close up. I'll finish the series of that. Uh, 12 and 11. Now, and now no chastising for the present seemed to be joyous for three years. Nevertheless, afterward, it yielded the peaceful fruit of righteousness. Yeah, see, afterwards, that you, the Lord started, He bring you up on another level. And you go through the chastisement, you go through the trials, tribulations, the long suffering, the emotion, yep, the patience. That's right. And after, after that, you know, you can see, you see, you're going to repent, you know. You're going to be merciful or if you're going to pray to him and ask the Lord to give you the spirit to endure and not to fall off or please uh, build my spirit up. And he's going to do it. Yeah, that's right. He gonna, he gonna, it's going to yield the fruit. That, that's that's in you, man. It's going to bring it out. That's right. You know, because your, your faith has been restored, man. Yeah. Your trust has, has been restored. Your spirit has been stripped, strengthened and comforted, man. Yeah. And it brings forth what? More drive. More determination, you know, more more integrity, more passion, you know, more 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 uh, more uh, breakdowns and things like that. Man. Diligence. Diligence, you know, because 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 your faith gets increased when you go through it. You like, man, I still fought, I fought through that. I fought through that. I'm still here, man. Let's keep going. You know, they uh, try to make an analogy. Like we always uh, compare the truth to like exercise and working out. Right, like when you're in the gym, you working out. That's not when you're seeing the increase. You see the increase after you complete the workout. Right. All right. You get sore, you get sore, and you might can't move your arm. Then you resting. You know, your body's recovering. That's when you actually see the gains. You, know, you, right. you research the ones that work out. You research certain human anatomy. You know, they say you grow new sleep. You know, so just like in the truth, man, after you go through that hell, but you got to take your correction, take your proof. You know, you went through a certain situation, and your faith got you through it. Like the brother going into, you actually boost up after that. You know? right. So taking the proof and going through the hell is, is beneficial, man. You know? Yeah, right, bro. That's why I finished the last part. It says, um, unto them which are exercised their blood. Right. Mm -hmm. right. You got something, Paul? Yeah, I got something real quick. Deuteronomy 8 5, thou shalt also. Thou shalt also consider in thy heart that as a man chasteneth his son, so the Lord thy power chasteneth thee. Woo. Therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy power to walk in his ways and to fear him. That's right. Hey, hey. We go through chastenings, we go through similar stripes that Yahweh shall suffer. Know that it's for the betterment of your spirit. It makes right. you wiser, it makes you stronger. You know, it's a way that you can actually um, handle it. Man. And you can handle it better than what you probably thought you could. Right. You know, a lot of scriptures tell you that, um, you know, you give lead to, to fears. Uh, basically, your thoughts, your thoughts of what's going to happen and what really happens is two different things. <laughs> yeah. You know, you, you think you think you're thinking about certain situations and scenarios, and what you're thinking about is actually worse than what's really going to happen to you. Right. Yeah, they don't get heavy thoughts. Yeah. That's in the apocryphal. It speaks about that. You know, that you, you know, you have a fear of things to come is actually worse than the actual situation that's gonna happen to you. So when, when these situations come and you handle it, you like, man, why do you have my shot that you gave me the spirit to even endure to handle that how I handled it, man? Yeah. You no. Know, with 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 poise and with, with mercy. Not, you know, I didn't spaz out, I didn't lose my mind, I didn't you know, I didn't beat myself up about it. You know, and then you're like, man, I, you know, hey, calm along your body, how about some old shot? Let's keep the work going, right? You know, and we got it, and we're going to have a lot more to go through. So when that gets here, the Lord is going to activate that spirit in us. So when it's here, it ain't even going to be as bad as we thought it was going to be. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's why we got to follow that light and endure the chastisement. You know how when you know you be anticipating all day that you're gonna get your ass whooped by your father? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then he come home and he whooped you. He, he be like, man, I'm out of my ass. Yeah, it wasn't even that bad. <laughs> it wasn't even that bad. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. And, but right. you, you got the, the, the message. The point is, the message gets across. Yeah. The Lord trying to get a message across. So, you know? Right. But um, I got one real quick before I wrap it up. 
is John chapter 9, verse uh, 5. And this is dealing with how shall I let it. It says, As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Period, yeah. point blank. That's it. And that's how you seal the deal. That's right. You know, Yahweh Shah said, as long as I'm in the world, I'm the light to the world. Mm-hmm. So Yahweh Shah knew that he was to leave a, a step on the earth. And he came and he knew that his life wasn't in vain. Impact. He knew it, man. He knew that the spirit of the Lord was with him. He knew that he had something that he had to do. He had a plan to carry out, you know, through the spirit. And he did it. And but by him doing so, hey, all of us brothers that's picked up this plow and that's doing what we got to do in the name of Yahweh Bashem Shah, it's our duty to protect and raise that reputation to the world yeah. and let the world know that our father, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, all right, did this, man. Right. He, not no Jesus Christ, no white man, it's Yahweh Bashem Shah that declared these works. Yeah. It was the Lord. Uh, um, the how about Shemal was shot that endured for us, man? That was a sacrifice for us, man. And it, it, it's, it's about it's coming a point in time where Yahweh was shot about to get his reputation back. Man. That's right. That's right. You know, all he let you know this filthy ass devil trying to steal his reputation. Yeah. You know, trying to take him, trying to take his uh deeds and his actions that he did, bro, and trying to make it seem like he was the one that walked on water. Yeah, how was shot about to reclaim that whole reputation, man? Right. You know? Yeah. And we gonna and we gonna, you know, through the spirit of the Lord we're gonna be a part of the elect. The Lord keep his good graces upon us. We're gonna help. We're gonna help to, to, to let the world know that, that the Lord is the one doing this, man. That's what right. right. So with yeah. that, hopefully this was edifying, man. Right. You know, uh, you know, through the spirit and power of the how about Shah, child, hopefully the blessing is edifying to the hopefully elect. Keep pushing, keep going strong. And we got work to do. Uh, a great flood is coming. That's right. Uh, people, a great uh, uh, work is coming in this ministry. And great persecution is coming. So just pray, ask the Lord to strengthen you, give you the spirit to endure, to, to, to go through with the mission, and not to betray or never fold, man. That's right. All right. So with that, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to. Wow, by ship, you shot by ship, dash. All right, double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone and Rule Well. All right, peace, safety, and much love to the elect members laboring around the four corners of the earth, giving all diligence to make the calling of election short. Shout out to you and your families. Shout out to you.